morning, Strawberry. Huh? Hi. You're here early, Blueberry. Where's Huck? We're supposed to go to the post office together. Still waiting for a letter from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine? I really hope they want to buy Hux in my mystery story. I was sure it would come two days ago. <gasps> but it didn't. <laughs> then I was sure it would come yesterday. But it didn't. So I'm positive it will come today. In fact, I believe I'll go down to the post office now. I just can't wait here any longer. It's too exciting! Come on, Scouty! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Oh! Blueberry! <laughs> you startled me. I was looking for my special delivery stamp. Oh, what can I do for you? Did a letter come for me, J.D. Bug? Blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot. There was a letter for you. Was? It's on the way to your bookstore. Special delivery. On its way to... You're delivering it to... Come on, Scouty! <gasps> Excuse me. Wait! Come back! Uh, wait! Don't you have a letter for... Special delivery? <laughs> what is it, Scouty? We have to catch that postal bee. Oh, the letter's been delivered. Thank you, Scouty. You knew where it was all along. It's from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. This is it, Scouty. Cross your fingers. I mean, toes. We regret to inform you that your mystery story is... Not what Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is looking for at this time. Oh. oh, Blueberry, I am so, so sorry. The worst thing is that Huckleberry was counting on the help it would bring his home for homeless dogs. He so needed to sell that story. What a show-off. <gasps> Pupcake hmm? just gave me an idea. How to raise funds for Huckleberry's dog shelter. He did? We'll hold a dog show. We'll invite folks from Berry Bitty Dale and Acorn Acres and all the neighboring towns. It could be a big hit, don't you think? Yeah! Want to be in a dog show, Scouty? <laughs> but what do you show? In a dog show. Oh, it's easy. All you do is walk the dogs around on leashes for all to admire. And would fashions be allowed? Well, sure, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, everyone has to have them. Just wondering if I could... I mean, you all know Chiffon never goes anywhere not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> of course. Anyone who wants to can have fashions, or not. They'll be optional. Excellent. Oh, Chiffon, want to be in a dog show? <laughs> but a dog show must need doggy hairstyles, right? Sure, but only if you want. It's optional. I mean, grooming is nice, but not all dogs are hairstyle dogs. Well, of course. I wouldn't want to force a hairstyle on anyone it wouldn't work for. Hannah, this is gonna be a sensation! You'll look like a star! <gasps> Just walk them in a circle? Certainly we can do better than that. What do you have in mind? Just, you know, train them to do some special moves. Well, I guess it could be an optional thing, but that would look rather disorganized. I mean, if we're gonna have a really fabulous show, we should definitely have all the dogs doing more than just walking. Hmm. Hmm? Just some simple moves. Nothing too complicated. Simple moves? Oh, um... Okay, fine with me. Marmalade. We can come up with a little doggy dance step, can't we? Um. Oh, Huckleberry. I'm sorry about our story. It's my fault. You wanted to write it in a more original way, and I pushed to make it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. 
<sighs> Don't worry. We'll submit our new mystery soon as we settle on an idea. That's the spirit. We can work on it as soon as we finish training. Training? For what? Strawberry decided we're going to have a big dog show to raise funds for your home for pets. Blueberry, that's fantastic. Wow, you girls are terrific. What do you think of that, Tom Tom? <laughs> Another rejected idea? Oh, so sorry, Bosley. I didn't see you there. I need a brainstorm. I'm all out of mystery ideas. Wait, I got it. The mystery of the disappearing mystery ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if you would welcome a suggestion, I've always liked the advice, write what you know. Not a bad idea. But is there anything mysterious going on in our quiet, normal lives? How about the mystery of where in the world did the floor go? <laughs> okay, write what we know. Oh, I know this spot where my pet mobile got stuck. Not sure if there's anything mysterious about that, though. <laughs> it was for the barricades, remember? That's right. They thought my seven dogs were a monster with seven noses. Hey, that would work. I've got it. A monster is terrorizing the berry patch. It has seven noses. And it slobbers all over. At night, it creeps into Berry Bitty City, looking for victims. Stealth Sleuth, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> I mean, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> Stan and Scathy, the stealth sloops. I mean, stealth sloops. Uh, never mind. Too much of a tongue twister. Gus and Betty? Kaylee and Kyle. On the case. That's it! Kaylee and Kyle on the mystery of the slobbering snuffler. I like it! supposed to be practicing for the show. <laughs> it's not playtime. This is very serious. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you silly. Come back with that. Storytime, Blueberry. Oh, what are you reading today? A very big vacation. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry you missed story time. Blueberry led us a very big vacation. I'll tell you the story. And so Strawberry and her friends decided to go on a very big vacation. So everyone in Berry Berry City packed and left. It was real dark in the berry patch. But Kaylee and Kyle were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. 
when out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. <laughs> its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M -m monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. That's it. You've got it. Looking good, Marmalade. Oh, hi, Huck. Hi, Blueberry. What you got there? We're mailing our new mystery story to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Good for you. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Uh, J.D. Bug, did you ever find your special delivery stamp? It's a mystery. It has completely disappeared. <clears throat> Pardon me, but, uh, is this it? It is! Where was it? Uh... Around. Uh, J.D. Bug, we have a package that needs that stamp. Oh! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine! <laughs> Chin up, let's strap our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style, so chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Okay, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Whoa. Oh. Wait, I think if I go under and if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! What's going yeah. on? Oh, hi, Huck. Take a look at your competition. <laughs> wow. Plum and Pitter Patch are really advanced. I thought we'd just walk in a circle. We'll just have to practice harder. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And hop, hop, hop. <gasps> Fantastic! Now, the rollover. That's it. That's not a rollover. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Chiffon. You can do it. Huh? Oh, no. You're scared. Oh, poor Chiffon. This just isn't going to work. Okay, here we go, Cinepop. Forget the walking in a circle plan. We've got a new strategy. You begin here and jump over this one, and then keep going over the next jump, and it's fun, see? Okay, showtime. Step lively. Hey! <laughs> I said showtime.
time, not dig time. This will not win any ribbons. Cherry! What happened to you? Where's Cinepuff? At Lemons, having a bath. Turns out she's more interested in digging than show jumping. Show jumping? Who said anything about show jumping? Ah, uh, you'll see. At show rehearsal this afternoon. Our first rehearsal! Wow, nobody looks very excited. <sighs> For our next story, how about the mystery of who stole the fun out of the dog show? Shall I go first? Why not? Um, aren't you supposed to have a leash? Pitter Patch doesn't need one. He's so well trained. Waterworks? Who decided that? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Oh, I'll get you guys. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know how I'm gonna fix your hair. Such behavior. Rehearsal is not playtime. So embarrassing. And I bragged how Pitter Patch didn't need a leash. What a fool I made of myself. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We all had a very fun time. It was a great mud fight. I guess I forgot it was supposed to be a dog show and not a plum show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think it's time to let dogs be dogs and Plum be Plum. Plum be Plum. I, I mean, me be Plum. I mean, Plum be me? I mean, what do you mean? I was thinking, let's have an opening dance number in the dog show and you solo in it. After all, you are the star dancer. Really? I could be the star? And so the rest of us could just walk in a circle? Exactly. And how about we lose the water sprays? Oh, that's a very good idea, Strawberry. Great job! The dog show is going to be a smashing success. Look, Strawberry, huh? I made these fabulous, fantastic, chic hats. The dogs are supposed to keep those on during the show? <laughs> no, they're for us. Oh, for us! That's very nice, Raspberry. Girls! Oh, this is terrible! What's going on, Orange? I haven't sold one ticket. What? I don't think one person from out of town is coming to our show. We sent out flyers, didn't we? We did. I gave them to Jittybug. Well, what about everyone from town? Oh, my. When Blueberry gave me all those flyers and asked me to mail them to everyone out of town, I... I... Oh, my. I forgot to mail them to everyone in town. So, no one, no one in Fairy Pity City but we, us, knows there's even a... I mean, nobody even knows there's a dog show? Do you think we have time to sell tickets to everyone in Fairy Pity City? Not if all the Berrykins already left for the Berry Big <gasps> Berrykin picnic. <laughs> Well, did they? Did they? What? Did the Berrykins all go on a picnic? They did. Oh. Well, we can't have a dog show with no one to, you know, show to. What will we tell Huckleberry? This show was supposed to raise funds for his home for homeless pets. <sighs> um, I can't imagine what happened. Not one ticket sold. Neither can I. It's a... Mystery! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Blueberry speaking. What? Mr. Toad Simmons? You're the editor of Berry Pity Mysteries? Uh, that's great! Really? As I said, I'm thrilled with the fresh and new voice of this mystery. And such a clever setting. A dog show. However did you come up with it? So inspired. I love it. You do? 
I have to say, that first submission of yours, well, it reminded me of a Patty Persimmon mystery. And I've so been there, read that. Uh, so I'm over the moon to find something so original. We'll publish it next month. Well, that is, if you are still willing to sell it. Yes! Yeah! I can't believe we did it! We Great did it job, together, Huck! Uh, yeah! 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 Bravo, Bravo, your star! <laughs> Didn't you like Plum's dance? You look so serious. I just got a brainstorm. Kaylee and Kyle and the ballet slipper thief. No! I can't go on. My ballet slipper, it's been stolen. Help me. Don't worry, ma'am. Swan Lake will not be your swan song. Kyle and Kaylee are on the case. <laughs> this video of Pub's dog show is awesome! Just think, guys. If we like their dancing, and everyone at the dog show like their dancing, people on the Berry web are gonna love their dancing. You want to post the video on your Berry Best Bits page? If it's okay with you, Plum. But... The music on this video is kind of hard to hear. Especially with all the barking. That's okay. I'll just use some other music instead. You can't use just any music. It has to match the dancing. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Wait a minute. We happen to have our very own world-famous singer-composer right here in Berry Bitty City. I bet she'd be happy to write us a new song. <sighs> we love our queen. She's never mean. She's super clean. Like a big green bean. <sighs> oh, why is this so hard? Hi, Cherry. Oh, hi, guys. Is everything okay? Sure. Except, no, it's horrible. I've been asked to write a special song to help the Queen of Baravania celebrate her reign. It should be easy, but it's so much pressure. I can't come up with anything. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't bother you then. No, no, that's okay. I need a break anyway. Maybe it'll help me clear my head. Well, if you're sure. See, I've got this Dance and Doggies video, and I want to post it to my Very Best Bits page, only the music's too quiet. So I was thinking that maybe you could compose a new song to go with it. Well, you just need the old song fully produced. I could do that, no prob. How about you guys give me some backup? Yeah! Love to! you on the Berry Web Apple, you can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Oh, super perfect. I'm gonna post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the queen. 
Oh, yeah. The queen. <sighs> oh, great queen. You're a ruling machine. You got style and taste. Like a fancy sardine. Oh. Well, there's the problem. I need fuel. I mean, even composers of the most important songs where important people were really, really counting on them had to eat. Oh, Queen, your rules are very best. Oh, my gosh, I'm so, so stressed. Still having trouble, huh? It should be easy. I mean, I write songs all the time. It's just this is for the Queen of Baravania. She's dependent on me. We're talking about actual royalty. It's so much pressure, I can hardly concentrate. Guys, guys! You gotta see this. You aren't gonna believe it. Look, Dance Puppy Dance has gone viral. It's got like a perizillion hits and rising. What is that song? Catchy, right? You're not kidding. It's super danceable. I've got to admit, that beat is awfully irresistible. I could listen to it all day long. What happened to our party? I can't write my next song while I'm listening to my last song. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, yeah. Uh, the song for the queen. Sorry, Cherry. I forgot. We won't make a peep. Cherry! <gasps> Cherry! Cherry! You aren't gonna believe this. Dance Puppy Dance just made it into the Berry Bitty City Top Pop songs. <laughs> And quiet. I'm sorry we distracted you, Cherry. That's okay. It's nice and quiet here anyway. You've got to admit, though, it's pretty cool that everyone loves your song so much. I mean, isn't that what music is for anyway? Well, yeah, but right now I need a focus. How am I supposed to think of a new melody with that other one playing in my head all the time? I mean, you might think I've gone bananas, but it's almost like I can hear that song right now. Wait, I can hear it right now. I've created a musical monster. Cherry, wait. And we're on in five, four, three, two. Top of the charts to you, Mavis Maraschino here for another edition of Berry's Hits and Misses. I am out here in Berry Bitty City with a big scoop on the song sensation that's sweeping the Berry Bitty world. Dance, puppy, dance. Uh, sorry, I've got to go and... Play your song on the radio? I, for one, cannot blame you one bit. Ooh, tantalizing timpani. What is the secret behind this mesmerizing musical masterpiece? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you all like the song, but... Like it? Raucous rhythms. Don't be modest, darling. We love it. Why, we can't get enough of it. Yes, I noticed that. Now, if you don't mind, could you please... Ask you another question? Why, of course! Stand up, get on Tell me, floor. Cherry Jam, is this the hip way to move to your groove? If you won't dance lessons, go see Plum Pudding and leave me alone! Diss me discordantly. We're only talking about your song. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Well, 
You saw it here first, pop fans. Exclusive coverage of Cherry Jam boldly bashing her own hit tune. Could there be more to this than meets the eye and ear? <laughs> you bet your downbeats, darlings. And I'll bring it to you live, or my name isn't Mavis Maraschino. <sighs> yes, no boom boxes, no berry web. Nothing but peace and quiet. Oh, Queen of Berryvania, this song is to explain to ya that we've got Queenie Mania. We. Oh, hi, Berry Kim Bloom. Uh, you guys aren't gonna turn on the radio or anything, are you? Oh, no, my dear. You see, we've got work to do. There's no time for radios when the berries need picking. Oh, that's splendid, because I've got work to do, too. Oh, very well, my dear. You go on about your business, and we'll go on about ours. And hop, hip, hop, hoop, hop. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, queen, our queen, fair ruler of our patch. From the very biggest berry to the littlest of the batch. Uh, how we praise your, your beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's it. How we praise your beauty and the fairness of your rule. Oh, queen of berry vein, yeah, you... Destroy it! Mavis Maraschino here with a startling development. Earlier this afternoon, I paid visit to Dance Puppy Dance's composer, Cherry Jam, when Cherry Cherry, quite contrary, painted quite the perplexing picture. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Why would the pop princess poo-poo publicity at the peak of her popularity? Has she cracked under the pressure of her... Oh. Hey, what's up, Maeve? Captivating crescendo. Who in the name of pop culture are you? I'm Kumquat Cool Dude from Berry Big City. Kumquat Cool Dude? Oh, I'm from Berry Big City, and I've certainly never heard of you. That's because I'm so far out on the cutting edge of style and taste that only the coolest of the people been allowed into my cool circle of coolosity. You sure you never heard of me? Oh, now I remember you, of course. Uh, Mr. Cool Dude and I go way back, <laughs> way, way back. So, Tell me, Kumquat, from one trendy pop culture expert to another, what do you think of this whole dance puppy dance craze? The cool dude is here to tell you. Dance puppy dance is super lame. <gasps> As anybody who's truly cool will tell you, it's, uh, well, it's musically horrible. And cool dude says, Anyone who doesn't want to look like a total banana brain should just stop listening to it. How could that guy bash Cherry's song like that? So, if you want to be cool and, you know, sophisticated like me and Mavis, then by all means, turn off that song and never play it again! <clears throat> Yo, Big Mavis, am I right? Or am I right? Uh, However did that horrid song become my ringtone? <laughs> of course you're right. There you go, folks. You heard it from Mavis herself. 
That song is crummy. So stop listening to it. Stop singing it and playing it in public. Stop dancing and stop whistling. What this town needs is some peace and quiet so I can write the queen her song. Wait, what? Did I say the queen song? Uh, what I meant was... Oh, hey, and harmony, Cherry Jam. But why would Cherry do that? I have no idea why you would pull such a charade, Cherry Jam. But I assure you that we will not stop playing your hip masterpiece. Fine, then. Enjoy the song. Because it's the last song from me you'll ever hear. I'm never going to write music again. What? <gasps> what? I can't believe the cherry is giving up music. If only we had kept it quiet. You're right, Orange. But it's just so catchy. It is a catchy song. And sure, we'd love to play it 24-7. And yes, we could all dance and whistle and hum along, and we'd never, ever get sick of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But friendship comes before music. And if my friend needs me to stop listening to her super catchy song so she can compose a brand new super catchy song for the Queen of Baravania, well, I'm willing to do it. How about you, Berry Bitty City? Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Puppy dance? No more dance, puppy dance! Do we promise? We, we promise. promise! All right then, from this moment forward, dance, puppy dance is banned from Berry Bitty City. May we never hear that wonderful tune again! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> playing anywhere. Perfect. It's time to talk to Cherry. Once she sees how everyone pitched in to keep things quiet for her, she's bound to start writing music again. Hi, Barricade Bloom! Hmm, that's weird. Barricade Bloom, is everything all right? <gasps> Oh, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, uh, so if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Barricade Bloom. <laughs> well, uh, imagine that. <laughs> However did the, uh, that thing get in there? No, no, no! <laughs> you gotta get that berry! Better. Nothing like a little nap to change your whole outlook. Maybe I'll finish writing the Queen's song after all. Oh, Queen, the land is so serene. Uh-huh. No. No! Anything but that song! Oh, you did it all right. How could you bring that song out here when you knew I didn't want to hear it? We're sorry, Cherry. Honest. Uh, we tried to keep it quiet. Oh, we really did. Can't you turn that thing off? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. 
seriously, who made this thing? The Queen of Berryvania? The Queen of Berryvania! Your Majesty, what an honor to receive you at my humble tour bus. To whatever do I owe this honor? Why, I've come to observe your progress on my royal song. Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is that... The thing is, young lady, it's quite obvious that you finished it. I... I have? And I love it! Oh, well, actually, Your Majesty, I was working on another song. I mean, this one is for dancing. With a groovy melody like this, what difference does it make? Everyone, please let's put formality aside. Come join me as we get our bad sales down to the official royal song. <laughs> 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 You've got to admit, Cherry, this is one catchy tune. I guess. Sorry if I was kind of a grouch. You're right. I should be happy if people like my music. But seriously, you've got to let me have a break from it some of the time. Of course. And we're sorry we weren't respecting your space. After all, the Queen loves this song so much, you'll need to concentrate when she asks you to write another. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> how about a dance? Why, I thought you'd never ask. Marshmallows are very delicious. Ah, uh, sorry, Strawberry, but I'm really on a roll over here. Almost halfway done with my step-by-step -step how to set up a tent segment of my instructional video. Well, I just have to say, Orange, Cherry, and Plum, those were some great stories you told. Oh, yes, wonderful. Eh, uh, I wouldn't say that. Oh? Well, why not, Sour? Oh, nothing, really. Just that. Well, my sister Sweet and I have a much better tale to tell. We do? Don't you remember? Remember what? Our way more awesome, incredibly dangerous, and gigantically exciting adventure than they had story? Let's hear it! Ooh! Can't wait! Do tell! Wait a minute, shouldn't we write something out first? And, you know, maybe practice? Nah, just relax. Make it up as you go along, like you're cooking. I do not make up my cooking as I go along. I follow the recipe exactly. Yeah, I've noticed. A real chef <gasps> knows how to improvise. Did I hear someone say something about topping our stories? <laughs> 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 you did indeed. Take it. Huh? <clears throat> well, once upon a time, a long, long time ago, um, there were two little girls named Sweet and Sour, and they... <gasps> Can you give it just a little more punch? Punch? You know, sock. Uh... Zip, sizzle, pizzazz. Ah, uh, here, watch. What my sister meant to say was, this is the story of something that happened to us a long time ago. But not enough. It's burned everlastingly into our memory. It is? I mean, it was? Help me out here, will you, sweet? Yes. Yes, it was. I mean, is ever last, last ever what she said. Ah, it makes me tremble to think of that night. That dark, 
dangerous night in very deep, dark forest. That night was just a job like any other night. Full of risk. Full of danger. But someone had to do it. And that someone was... Me. There wasn't a moment to lose. We were on a mission of mercy. An expedition of the Berrykin Exploration Society was stranded in the very deep, dark forest. Without the food supplies in our truck, they'd have to go to bed without dinner. And that was something we had vowed would not happen. Uh, excuse me? Question. Oh, uh, no big deal, but you keep saying we, so I was just kind of wondering. Where was Sweet? Uh, me? Well, I was... Asleep! Asleep? Off in Dreamland. Out like a light. <sighs> so, while Sweet snoozed, I raced us down the road on our mission of... Excuse me. <sighs> Question. Just asking, just asking. But, uh, with all that bouncing and noise, how could she sleep? She'd just eaten a very heavy meal, okay? Why, yes, a very heavy meal. That's right. So I... It started with a watercress salad tossed with a rich raspberry vinaigrette dressing topped with a sprinkling of crispy croutons. I... Next came a savory noodle soup with lentils, peas, celery, and carrots gently simmered in a broth of... Sweet! <gasps> <laughs> oh, where were we? Oh, yeah, on a mission of mercy. Everything was going simply swell until all of a sudden... It wasn't. We were stuck in the mud! <sighs> we weren't stuck! We were sinking! And this wasn't mud! It was a bottomless pit of very, very quicksand! There was only one thing to do. was over, but only for the moment. It would not be over over until I got the truck out of there. <laughs> but even with my magnificently muscle tone strength, it wouldn't budge. a serious problem, and then I had it! I would go for help! Uh-oh, I'd have to go for help fast! If the vine broke, the truck would sink, and the Berrykins would go to bed without any dinner! Oh yeah, and I'd never see my sister again. And so I set off alone. One girl against the wilderness. Uh, excuse me. Question. Why didn't you just wake her up? Yeah, why not wake me up? 
Are you kidding? Do you know what you're like when someone interrupts your nap time? You are bad news. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Uh uh. I am not. Are two. Am not. Two. Not. Huh? When? Now, uh, where was I? Going off against the wilderness. Ah, yes. There I was. One girl against the wilderness. One girl deep in the dense, daunting darkness. And did I say dangerous? <gasps> so there I was, smack in the middle of the most dangerous adventure I'd ever been on. And I've been on plenty. An avalanche in the very big mountains? Pfft. Trapped aboard a sinking ship in a hurricane? Ha! This one topped them all. Jump in any time, will ya? I would, if I knew where you were going with it. Well, how am I supposed to know? This is called improv, don't you know? As I was saying, I had to get help. And fast. But where? It was a big forest. A very big forest. Hey! I'm trying to navigate, do you mind? Expert tracker though I was, it was no use. The stars could tell me which way was north. <gasps> if only I could see them. They say moss grows on the north side of trees. <gasps> forest, it grew on every side. There was no use denying it. I was absolutely, completely, totally lost! You are not the only one. And then I heard it! <gasps> <laughs> heard what? Drums. couldn't believe what I was seeing. Wild animals or lost civilizations I could buy, but <gasps> this? No way. What, what was, was it? it? Don't ask me. I'm asleep in the truck, remember? I'll tell you what it was. It was... It was... A rock band. Hear that? She's doing it again! Day after day, week after week, year after year! Why can't you keep the bait? It isn't me! It's that woodpecker! Every time I get a good beat going, he messes me up! Stick your fingers in your ears and go la la la. If you don't find the
the beat, we don't get the gig. You want to spend the rest of your career playing for crickets and frogs? Frogs stopped coming a month ago. Just crickets now. Oh, and that rabbit who keeps requesting row, row, row your boat. Well, this was just what I was looking for. A bunch of people who weren't doing anything important and who would be thrilled to help me save a bunch of berrykins from a fate worse than no num-nums. Oh, and save my sister from sinking in the bottomless thingy. <sighs> Aww. So what'd you do? What anyone who was lost in the woods would do. I called for help. Um, help! Huh? <gasps> uh huh? An, An audience! audience! Hello, hello, hello! Here, Pinky and the Ponytails. She's Pinky. I'm Penny. That's Patty. Music, mirth, and merriment is our thing. So sit right down. The show starts now. Um, but I, well, see, I'm. Is this thing on? <laughs> really good to see you here. Last concert, nobody showed up at Frogs. The gig croaked. <laughs> Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me with a little problem I have back there. See, I. I'd heard better music the day I pogo stick to town with an accordion tied to my head. I was so out of there. Or so I thought. No, 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 no! Don't go! Show's just starting! We're just warming up! Here, we'll do one of our biggest requests. And a one, two, three, four! Row, row, row your boat, row, 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 I mean, this was getting a bit too much. I was just this far from telling the Berrykins to go gather their own grub. <laughs> just a figure of speech! And then, there was my sister. I mean, could I let her down? Hmm. Nah. Well, thanks for that, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever did you do? Well, what else? The only thing a hero can do in a case like this. I... I... Ran for my life! And the ponytails weren't going to catch me. <gasps> Not this graduate of the Berry Bitty Correspondence School of Super Heroics. We love to play the great outdoors. The other day, Patty pretended she was a tree. I said, then why don't you make like a tree and leave? Ha 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 ha! Head away, two, three, four! Row, row, row.
<laughs> How did you get out of that one? How indeed, you ask? <laughs> well, I... I... I didn't do anything. Huh? Uh -huh. I didn't know what to do. <sighs> Fresh out of ideas. Then how'd you escape? She saved me. Wow! So you're the hero! Come on, tell how'd us! How'd you do it, sweet? Well, it's sort of hard to remember. Uh, can't blame ya. It's almost a blur to me, too. Well, there I was. In more misery than the day I had nothing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner but Brussels sprouts and lima beans. When all of a sudden, we heard it. Hey, who's playing that? Oh yeah, great beat! It was my sister, Sweet. Woke up from her nap and was waiting for me to return. <laughs> Just beat that woodpecker all to pieces. And Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat. There was just one more problem to take care of. Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat, and the Berrykins got their dinner. That's great! What a great story! Wonderful! So everything ended happily. Yeah, it was, uh... Why, yes! Pinky and the Ponytails had a hit record and, um, became mega stars, and they were so grateful that they changed their name to... Two sweets and a sour. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what a great story! She goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is 
is our last ball. <laughs> Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good to go! Catch! <laughs> Hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! <laughs> Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with Marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. As soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> See what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <laughs> Let's go see Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? Ah! I don't 
won't believe this. How will I dry your hair? There's no power now. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Air dry is fine today, Lemon. <gasps> if you didn't believe that, you're really not gonna believe this. what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. I vote we wait around in Soundproof Blueberry's bookstore and... It might not be practical. Ride our scooters to Barry Biddy Deal and back? And, uh, back again? We need juice power for that, too. I vote we spend the entire day bored. No! Okay, bored and frustrated. No! I mean, this is a great opportunity. For what? Something new. Something exciting. Fun, different. Like... Like... Hmm. Our own sporting event. What kind of sporting oh. event? Well, I don't know. How about... A relay race! Woohoo! Our own Berry Bitty Relay Race! Huh. Uh huh. Interesting. And why Bitty? Why not go for Berry Berry Big? A relay race on land, on water, and in the sky! Yeah! We'll have teams. We'll start at the Whoa. lake with a sailboat race. Yeah! And then you pass the baton to the next team. Uh. Uh. A steeplechase on frogs! Yeah! Fun! Great! Wow! Sounds wonderful! And then they pass the baton to the third team. A sky race! Flying on birds! Yeah! Yeah! Like Strawberry no, no, oh All in favor? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go. I oh, can't wow. wait! <laughs> this is gonna be fun! <laughs> Huh? Hey, where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but... Oh, we can't! We got a job to do! 
Oh, uh, just for a little while. Uh, if the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Stay at it! We have to find that blockage! Careful, Earl! There he is! Quick, before he sees us! Cherry is racing for Team 1, and Plum for Team 2. Okay, you zigzag through those buoys to the other side of the lake. Then turn around, and it's a straight shot back to the dock. Good luck! You're gonna do it! We'll be cheering for ya! Think win! On your mark... Get set! <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! We'll know when we get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Uh, what else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see Lake! Hey! We're here! But I can't see them. Huh? I can see them. How close are they? You don't want to know, Earl. Shh. 
Both teams are tied. The air race will decide the winner. You stay here, Marmalade. You too, Scouty. This part of the race might be a bit dangerous. All set. <gasps> My baton! Where is it? I, I put it right here. No time. Here. <laughs> Everyone listen up, hear my proclamation About taking dreams seriously Erase your fears, don't worry about the You were right, Ed! The best way to see this race is to be in it! Feel inspired, learn, ask a million questions Be the very best you can be, yeah Just imagine all the possible directions Let's make history Show the world how to watch. Oh, nah, couldn't be. Now what do we do? We get back to work before the boss notices we're gone. Come along, watch and see. Let's have fun now while making your story. Oh, oh, and be proud. Oh, Go on, raise your voice and shout it out. it loud. Make your sound. You gotta always stand your ground. Be on it. Now, wasn't that fun? You're right. It turned out to be a great day, even with being sent out of town. <laughs> kind of wish we could do it all again tomorrow. Wish you were on a quit. Sorry, but this turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. <laughs> you can say that. Yes, yes I'll do. Right. Well, I'm tired. How about you guys? Ooh, I'm not a kid for bed. Oh, can't wait. wait for tomorrow. Marmalade? Ooh, doggone it, where'd that puppy go? Cherry, Princess Berrigan told us about your recital, and we want to have one too. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I'm not having any more recitals. I'm going back to Berry Big City today. I have to start making plans for my next tour. Aww. Aww. We'll miss you, Chewy Jam. <laughs> oh, she loves tangerines. Snap peas. She loves snap peas. Here, strawberry. I crocheted a ribbon for her basket. Oh, this is lovely, raspberry. <sighs> Did I miss her? Has she left? I was making her a new hair scent, cherry vanilla souffle. She hasn't left yet, Lemon. Phew, I'm glad. I hate 
sweet goodbyes. I'm so sad Cherry is leaving Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> To get ourselves together. She'll feel terrible if she sees us like this. Uh, hi, girls. Hi, hi Cherry. <laughs> oh, Ma, I am so sad to be leaving you. Trip home. Oh, thanks. Well, I, I better get going, but I'll be back before you know it. Goodbye, Fairy Bitty City. Goodbye, Cherry. Don't stay away <laughs> well, it's just like you said. You're back before we know it. Try it again. Ah, bumbling bitterberries. Is it bad? Never seen worse. Well, we can repair the Hoosie Wah carbonator, but you definitely are gonna need a new hydraulic juicer rinser. Can you install a new one? No, oh, no, that's a custom part. Got a special order one from Barry Big City Motor Parts. Two, maybe three weeks. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm glad I get to stay in Barry Baby City longer. And we're glad you're staying. What's that? <laughs> I think it's my next set of music students. Cherry, we've added some spice to our act. Now can we have a recital? I have a better idea. You have skills beyond music. Let's hold a talent show. Anyone can enter and anything goes. Yes! We can have trophies for first, second, and third place. Bookworm Bob and his cousins Bart and Boris can be judges. Cherry Jam? Oh, that's a very good idea. <laughs> everyone. Welcome to Book Club. Come on in. Hi, Blueberry! Hi, Hi Blueberry. Blueberry! What are you doing for the talent contest, Raspberry? The same piece on my keyboard I did for the recital. Well, you are definitely the best performer. Oh, I did make nine mistakes. Oh, but yesterday I got it down to seven, and today I got it down to six. I'm going to juggle! I haven't decided. I want my act to be simply sensational! Lemon, I'm sure whatever you think of will be. I'm writing a play and directing the baby bearkins in it. Oh, that's very ambitious, Blueberry. I'm going to perform the flamingo and the hummingbird. Oh, my favorite ballet. So very moving. Um, you're dancing both parts? Sure. When I win, I don't want to have to share the glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're silly, Plum. But she has a point. If you really want to win, you have to win alone. Oh, I don't know about that. Cherry and I are singing a duet, and... <sighs> so sorry I'm late, girls, but I just got a call from my manager. Wait till you hear this! Ooh, what is it? <gasps> okay. My publicist put a plug in Very Big Glam and Glitz magazine about our talent contest, and a talent scout from Very Big City is coming to see the show. <laughs> you mean it? A talent scout right here in Very Bitty City to see us? Uh huh. Well, this means I have to get down to less than uh to to no mistakes. This is my big chance to be discovered. <laughs> All right, girls. <laughs> We're here to talk about the book. Okay. Who liked the part where Daisy Daffodil moves to a penthouse in the palace and has 18 servants? 
<laughs> it's going to be just like me when the talent scout brings me to very big city to be a star. <laughs> oh yes, You're already very a star big to us. city. <laughs> oh, raspberry. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lemon. Uh, what are you going to paint today? Hi, Barrack and Bloom. It's my entry in the talent contest. That big, beautiful hedge at the Lawn, Bowling and Croquet Club. I'm gonna finish it today. Uh, not anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, Lemon. I trimmed the hedge into animal shapes. You know, topiaries? Uh, although, they are rather unique, uh, don't you think? More than unique, Barrack and Bloom. They're sensational! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Let's try it in G. You know you found a friend that's real, that's true. When you hear the real music in you. Oh, hi, girls. Where can we put Raspberry's keyboard? Better put it over there until the stage is finished. Raspberry, you can stop. You're down to no mistakes. I guess you're right. Uh, Cherry, Strawberry, I'm ready for your final, um, fitting of your costumes. That's great. Then, uh, can I ask you a favor? Of course. Would you be able to handle the lights for the show? Oh, sure. Sounds fun. And Plum, could you help us work out a little choreography for our act? Oh, I'd be delighted. I'm seeing lots of sparkles. It's going to be dreamy, magical, dream magical. <laughs> Aha! A giraffe! Nah, not me. I know. <laughs> a penguin! No talent scout has ever seen this. Animal topiary hairstyles? Obvious sensation. Huh. Scent. Sation. <gasps> That's it! <sighs> uh, hold on. Uh, just a sec. Coming! Lemon, is everything all right? What's going on in there? In here? Um, uh, nothing? Ugh. What's that awful smell? <sighs> I mixed the wrong scent and color. Yeah! W what? Oh, dear! Can I help you get that thing off your head? This thing happens to be my sensational hair topiary for the talent show. Hair topiary? Animal hair topiary. Scented. Oh. It's a... skunk? <gasps> a penguin! Oh! Of course. Want me to help you wash him out? I'll take care of her, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Um, listen, I was wondering if you could help me out by playing a part in my play. <laughs> the Berrykins can't seem to memorize their lines. But the talent show's supposed to be a competition. Hmm? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have time. If I'm gonna win, I have to put everything into my own act. Oh, I understand. You sure you don't want help washing that out? I'm sure. But thanks, Blueberry. Penguin. Let's move this lumber. We won't be needing it. Princess? Plum asked me to be in her belly, the flamingo and the hummingbird. I am dancing the flamingo! Oh. If 
you're the flamingo, who's the hummingbird? One, two, three, hoist! One, two, three, hoist! Do a hoist! One, two, three, hoist! The hummingbird is the bigger role. Hoist! Hoist! Animal hair topiary. Scented. Well, uh, speaking of hair, we wanted to schedule our appointments. Sorry, girls, but as you can tell, I need every moment to practice. Oh. Tiger? A bit more zebra, I think. Well, they both have stripes. Anybody seen Raspberry? She'll be here in a bit. She's working on her dress. And Lemon? Still locked in her salon with her hair zoo? Yep. What can we do to help? Can you paint a snowy mountain backdrop for Princess Berrykin? Sure thing. with nine mistakes. Oh. Cherry said we have talents beyond music. Raspberry, you will be in the show.
Princess Berrykin, wasn't she sublime? So glad to be here at Berry Bitty City's first talent show. Say, did you hear that one of our baby Berrykins ate his homework? <gasps> his teacher told him it was a piece of cake. <laughs> You know how Strawberry Shortcake keeps Pupcake from barking in the back seat of Cherry Jam's tour bus? She moves him to the front seat. <laughs> Why did the piece of toast go to the doctor? Because it was feeling really crummy. <laughs> Great idea to have the girls help me model. You really saved my act, Raspberry. Sure, Lemon. And now, please welcome Lemon Meringue and her unusual animal topiary hairstyles. Uh, scented. <laughs> You're on. to have so many different talents here in Berry Bitty City. Wasn't it wonderful to see all of it on display tonight? Yeah! Yeah! And now, the winners are... Third place, Raspberry Torch's Magical Musical Glitter Gown. Congratulations, Raspberry. Second prize to Lemon Meringue for her animal hair topiaries, scented. <laughs> and the winner is Barry Kin Bloom for his comedy. <laughs> that's that's me. <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> You didn't win first place, Raspberry. Oh, Lemon, I don't think I would have even made third if it wasn't for your glitter gown idea. <gasps> Thank you. That's what friends are for. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. <laughs> Here's my card, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. In my opinion, they were absolutely above and beyond the star of the show. <gasps> Sooner or later. <laughs> we always do. 
Well, according to the rules, the Berryfest Princess is in charge of the Wanderberry Hunt. And you're the Berryfest Princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters! As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all had their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wonderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> Oh, there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, Wonderberry. Oh, isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. My, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich. The shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh! Oh, yeah! Let me get it! Let me get it! Let me get it! Let me get it! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah. to see if you did. Sure! Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Pull harder! You can do it! Come on, Strawberry! Give it a good day! Oh, that's it! This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. 
I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Whee! Oh! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a oh, wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? A little break. <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Well, why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Oh, Pupcake Custard, do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why wouldn't you tell me what... Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that... Oh. oh. My. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true, quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, 
You get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry tort, plum pudding, blueberry muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you. Yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fun. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We, we looked everywhere. everywhere. Two times. No, three. We, we couldn't, couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What will we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry, you found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is. Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. 
Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yeah! But first... First, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. <laughs> 